Hello everyone, I'm you two and welcome back to Hong Kai Star Rail. Uh, I'm getting slowly exhausted by this game. Hopefully this will be the end of this and I can do the event that I've been trying so hard to get to. It's, it's just... getting late. Where to now? But we shall see. But it can back, man. So we're now delivering a fan to Yukong because Ting Yung has been a uh, seriously disappeared. Please extend my regards to the Ten Mords. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. You have guests. I shall take my leave. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellaron Crisis. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Ting Yun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Ting Yun left this behind. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. <sighs> Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers. Sisters. Children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara-struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long-life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, 
This is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. Uh, how can we help? I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukon. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Novalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. You always did say that I like to gossip, and here I am rambling on proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Or you could just cut yourself off. Mr. Yang Ming. Oh. It's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. Did the Helm Master send you over? We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul-soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please, take your time. Okay, let's see what there is. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want to take a look in that box. There's nothing else, except a handful of seeds. It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Why don't you take a look at that knife? I can't cook to save my life. But one thing I'm sure of is, that's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? 
Let's take a look at that bow. This bow. It's like a bow or like a color. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me, could it? Uh, I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. All right, just kidding. I'm just trying to liven things up around here. Where's she going? Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Okay. Tignon, Tignon, what am I going to get for you? If only you... Huh. The vials are all prepped. How to triple check when the meeting is scheduled. Okay. The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? How is that her voice? We're here on the gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yung. Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yung promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia, and imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Miss Ting Yung came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CNJO had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Ting Yun today? She's dead. She had to embark on another long voyage. Yes. Now that the crisis has been averted and the ports are resuming operations, Miss Ting Yun has been dispatched on business with the Skyfaring Commission out to other worlds oh really hmm. well that's a shame well hold on a sec two months later ming ming serves the tea she brewed based on her suggestion i improved the whale tide spring emerald hills and dawn dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet long-lasting taste i called it ting yun's blend seeing as she can't enjoy it right now i'll have to invite all of you to try a cup Okay. Oof. Eh. It's getting late. Where to now? Good quality, good price. The Waku is famous for its money. Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? Have you heard of Spices Supreme? Isn't that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Or Mally? It's the main commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Who's famous for its mung bean soda? You've got to give it a try. Okay. Okay. Check out that sign! 
here it is! Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? We're here on a gift-giving errand for Miss Tingyun. Uh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? Oh, 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 what a precious person she is. Oh, a sweet thing like her, gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? Indeed. Miss Tingyun couldn't tear herself away from work. So we've had to gift this on her behalf today. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Why don't I give you all a demonstration and prepare a dish? My treat. I'd love to repay this kindness. Yang Kui goes into the back kitchen and brings out a steaming bowl of food. Oh, speaking of which, it was our chili beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Tingyun to our restaurant. <laughs> it's... Spicy, sumptuous, and guaranteed to get the mouth watering. Not even a girl as refined as Ting Yun could resist the temptation. About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. right. No, it's not even here. It's like somewhere else entirely. Watch her show back up. We'll do all this pomp and circum. You don't happen to be at the Stargaze in Navalia right now, are you? Yes, I'm in Stargaze in Navalia. Yeah, I just happened to be handling some stuff there. That's great! I saw a Cycrane system that you were you were nearby. As an important task I need your help with. It's really urgent. The Exalted Sanctum Sky Dome malfunction happened an hour ago. It was probably caused by unusual yin-yang phenomena from Ambrosial Arbor's new growth. The technical details are complicated, so I'll keep it short. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Okay, I, I really can't read this fast enough. God, this... Uh, okay, so, uh, in short, one district has a serious problem and it's about to explode. The entire Law Fu has yet to fully recover from the chaos. There's no one available to handle this emergency. Fortunately, there is an office worker in the Sky Green Commission who jumped on a star skip and flew to the Sky Dome to carry out an emergency fix. The star skip also broke down during the rescue, probably due to an yin yang phenomenon again, and lost contact over Stargazer Navalia. It may have been forced to land or even crash. I've already informed the Cloud Knights to send reinforcements to ASAP. But one second can mean the difference between life and death in this kind of thing. Can you folks please go look, take a look first? Uh, where's the crash site? Where did the Starscript crash? I'm still trying to find out. Your friend Mr. Yang is also nearby. I've contacted him. Anyways, try to find a vantage point in Stargazer Navalia and use a sky side crane to locate the Starscript. I'm counting on you folks. Also, this office worker is a bit special. I implore you both to do everything in your power to save her life. I don't know who it could be. Oh, well, we'll do that later, I guess. What brings you here? We're here to pass out a gift from Miss Tingyun. This bow. 
Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helmmaster, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the Guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out, will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me. Those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait! Wait, wait for me! Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amicassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I. I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. Soul soothing caper kite. Hmm. Out of all this stuff we've got. What do you think we should place on the star skiff? Uh, well, so soothing paper kite. This time we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. You yeah, cast for seal. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xian Zhou's prosperity. Tea named her after her. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. And her favorite dish. This is a gift from Miss Yen Sui on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. Soon the Starskiff will carry the items she looked on the stars unknown, vanishing to the vastness of their halo. Long life or short life, everyone sails towards the same destination.
Isn't it there? It's getting late. Where to now? General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Lofu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Free real estate, please. What the hell? You're too kind, General. Please. Let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. Ugh, alright. This, this one? Nope, it's over here. Oh, man. Okay. It's getting late. Where to now? What is your purpose for? Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo Law Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already. But the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Jade Abacus? Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath. Etching the record into a jade abacus, the world may crumble and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this jade abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the jade abacus here in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Lawfu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Yep, got it. Say no more, sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the Law Fu. Nice! Nice. But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fung have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu, 
Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Jade have kiss of un a lying oath. Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? I think there's some of the friends we meet along the way. Oh yeah, there are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fuck. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Uh, we've been so busy running around in circles, we haven't gotten the chance to say goodbye to friends we've just met. I feel like parting is still such sweet sorrow. Who should I go to first? But the Master Diviner? Jingche? The Miracle Doctor? Or what about Master Gongshu? Uh, shall we go and meet them all? When I left the train, I only had time to say a quick goodbye to Himiko. I should go back and give her an update. And... Thank her for her guidance. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express first. You and March finish up here and come back soon, all right? You gotta be butt fucking you. All right. Where is, uh. Where's all my friends? At least, does it at least tell me where they are? I don't wanna go fucking hunting for them. It's not going to, is it? Oh my god, I had no clue where they are. They could be effing anywhere. Maybe one of them's here. I don't. How are you gonna tell me to go say goodbye to people? I don't even know where they are. They move around constantly. Well, she's here. Okay. Are you here to say goodbye? I'm leaving the. I'm leaving the lawfu. There's no need to be so anxious. I predict that you will return to the Sienjo often, and you will definitely continue to trouble us when you do. Therefore. Forget about any farewells. And if I do return, this will still be a farewell, right? All right, okay, I understand. I wish your travels be fleeting of foot, and may your crises be effortlessly resolved. Okay. And the other one was in the Artisanship Commission. Gongsheng, whatever? Is that... Is that correct? Could be near the dock? Hopefully. I don't want to find him in some random freaking place. Him? Oh, something triggered. Oh. Oh no. I already got some problems like to hand with. Oh fuck, I triggered some other quest. Uh, we're not gonna read this. I'm gonna just read in my head, so.
hate it when they make missions that just trigger by getting too close. It's so annoying. It even happens in Genshin, too. I have to look up. To the people. Uh, you got to know. Okay, here we go. Mm. I have a list. God. All right, so we got. Can't okay, see divine foresight. Right, the starting quest location. Oh shit. Okay. God damn it. It's getting late. Where to now? So, yeah, let's go do this one first. So, apparently, there's 10 people you can say goodbye to in this quest. One of them was Fu Swan, which I did. And another one's Yang Qing, who is in this place. Might be this chick on the right. Or oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. I know we haven't got the chance to get acquainted, but I've heard a lot of good things about the crew from the general. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Leaving the law firm. So soon? Uh, I wanted to help the general, but things didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. I've learned my lesson. Also, I have a rather abrupt request. God, what? After fighting Dan Hong, I feel like my skills are lacking somewhere. If you have any time to coach me... He's got you in a couple of rounds. <laughs> Deal. Safe travels. Okay, so another one. Another one's in the Exalting Sanctum. It's like right in the middle. I think it's Bailu, the little dragon, dragon lady. I'm leaving the law food. To start your next journey. That's great! <sighs> I can't wait to escape the commission again. Uh oh! Make sure you come visit. Next time you're here, we'll put my plan into action. <laughs> I've got it all figured out. We sneak out, head over to Arm Alley, and pick out on the stacks there. Oh, better start playing that escape route then. Mm -hmm. It's a deal. And don't forget to come see me if you get any headaches, fever, tendon pain, joint pain, uh, anything. My treatment is on the house. Okay, and no one is Sequelo and no one's section of Exalting Sanctum. Okay, yeah. Don't talk to that person. Hey. There she is. God, she just ran away. I'm guessing seeing you here probably means that your affairs on the Sanjo are mostly complete. I'm leaving the Wafu. Is that it? I thought you were gonna stay for at least a little longer. Did Welt learn how to play Celestial Jade in the end? If he hasn't got the hang of it yet, tell him to come see me, and I'll show him the ropes. Oh, I haven't asked you yet. Are you interested in learning yourself? Sure, but it's easier to learn. Aha! I thought so. Come back when you have time. I'll teach you. We're in agreement then. You can come back anytime and I'll teach you how to play. Alright, and the one's Yukong. Central Stars Cape Haven. It's the Earth Rising Aura. It's getting late. Where to now? Are you off then? I'm leaving the Lafu. The Sienjo Lafu is all the richer for your brief time with us. I offer blessings on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission on the eve of your departure. If you require resupplying during your journey, you can always count on us. Okay, Su Sheng, look at the western part of Central Stars of Haven. 
Trigger that quest, please. Who's Su Shang anyway? I don't know who that is. Oh, oh, I know. She's that one chick, the Cloud Knight girl. She's just on the western part. Oh, there she is. Uh, hi. Are you listening to Mr. Zian's stories? Sure am. Things have been in constant turmoil since I transferred to the La Fu. Now that I've got a little free time, I'm here to listen to some storytelling. Are you... Sorry, I've, I've met so many people recently. You seem unfamiliar. Judging by your clothes, you must be an outworlder. Nanhang told me all about... Is that so? Well, before you leave, I recommend listening to Mr. Xian's Legend of the High Cloud Quintet. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be an epic hero. I never get tired of hearing about the Quintet. I'm sure you'll love it. You should bring Don Hung along next time. We can chat over some tea. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I won't take any more of your time. Good luck. Okay. Uh, next one is Master Gong Shu, Artisan Commission, South of the Arcane Morridge. Oh, he was here. I just went the wrong way. Of course I did. Yeah. Of course they're all he's wearing the same outfit like everybody else, so it's not that right The Artisan Ship Commission has come through hell and high water since the incident. Rebuilding what we lost will drain the years. Our labor filled with blood and sweat and tears. I'm leaving the law for. for a youngster to deliver a farewell to an old man like me is a rare occurrence in this day and age. <sighs> I've taken on many a short life apprentice. After leaving the law Fu, they never return. Time, not distance, is the true separator of souls. The lingering sound of bygone music plays, though groweth fainter with the parting way. Don't worry, I'll be back. I'm glad. I'll still be here at the Artisanship Commission. You're welcome anytime. <sighs> but farewell it is. I shall not sing for you on your way out. I fear the sound would break my heartstrings. Okay, so you look at the north I'm part of the Celtic Sanctum. Northeast to the Sinwar Pavilion and Teleport. It's getting late. Where to now? <sighs> Is that you, Big Brother? I knew it was you by the sound of your footsteps. It's me. I'm planning on leaving the Lafu. You're leaving? <sighs> Thank you for helping me. And thanks to Don Shu, too. I should be taller the next time you're back. So I won't be such a burden on everyone. Um, by the way, is Don Shu okay? Ooh. Me and my friends are worried about her. We haven't heard from her since the last time she delivered the medicine. And she's on sabbatical studying medicinal, medicinal pellets. Oh, she's dead. I understand. <laughs> Making pellets must be very hard work. We shouldn't bug her. When I grow up. I want to be a great alchemist like Danshu, making medicine and helping the incomplete ones. Well, bye bye, big brother. Have a safe journey. I'm so curious to see what she would have said if you said she was dead. Anyway, mean kids, really? I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor cleaned or your star skip? Eastern side of Zalting Sanctum. North of the Spare Time Bookshop. Do you be a tool? <laughs> there they are. Uh, what do we 
do now? We don't really have to turn over a new leaf, do we? <laughs> no way! We pretend to obey the grown-ups, then get back to business as soon as we get the chance. Hey, what are you looking at? This is our conversation, okay? Hmm, why does this outworlder seem so familiar to me? Hey, boss! I recognize him! He's the guy who messed with us last time! Ugh, I remember now. Last time we dealt with this one, we got into big trouble. Ah, it's you. You're the one who betrayed us, right? We've been ordered to change our name from the Lawfu Trio to the Lawfu Study Club. It's so embarrassing. Now no one's gonna respect us anymore. Huh. So tell us, how much compensation are you gonna give? I'm planning on leaving the Lawfu. Huh. Trying to flee? Ugh. Boss, let's just forget about it. Let this bad omen off the Lafu so we can get on with business. Just go then. What's it got to do with us? You think we're friends or something? You want to say goodbye to us? Don Shu asked me to bring you a message. Don Shu? Who, who's Don Shu? She's the leader of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The one everyone was talking about. Sanctus... M Medicus? W what do you want with me? You want us to join you or something? Stay away from Xiao Yu, you hear? Otherwise... Y you guys must think you're pretty tough. Bullying kids like us out in the open. Have us arrested then. Time to throw in the towel, boss. They're playing for real. If you want to start a fight with the disciples, <laughs> I'm out. Mm, I guess you're right. These guys mean business. My mom said they ate three or four kids for breakfast. <laughs> y yeah. <clears throat> hey, you! We promise not to bully Xiao Yu again. If you promise not to mess with us. That depends on your end of the bargain. Okay. We promise. But you have to keep your word, too. Okay, and the last one is DT. What other part of Central Star Wars? Uh, no. It's up here somewhere. Eating his little tiny dog. So. I think I saw him earlier, actually. I just didn't realize who someone I could talk late. to. Where to now? Here, right there. Oh, no, but he's. Part of a character quest. That's not going to interrupt with that, is it? Yeah, the Star Skiff Jetty Teleport Waypoint. Uh. Oh, there he is. I'm leaving the Lafu. What's that? You you got you're gonna miss me? Deeting lives his front paws, draws in an arch in the air with its round head, turns around and runs off into the distance. It looks like he has something to show you. Wait, what? I don't know. Okay. What do you got for me, little puppy? Taking me this chest? Oh, is this a gift for me? No. <laughs> Getting circles around it, sits down, especially waiting to see open the chest and get something nice. I guess a dog really is a man's best friend after all. Thank you. No. What is? No, oh, it's cute. Okay. Yay. Alright, and that's it. Uh, that's everybody, so let's get the ass out of here. Oh my god.
There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. You're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well, can stay on the express. <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? What's your next stop? Penacone. Do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, that was our original destination. I remember. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the Express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Meanwhile, in the Shackling Prison... <clears throat> All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellarock, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. Oh, shit. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Sienjo, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaosher. <laughs> That's right, Jing Yuan. Stay out of our way. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, we will put the abundance in their grave. Okay then. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the upcoming installment. Okay. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> so can I finally do this? I can. Okay, is this voiced? Is that the question you do back in business? Okay. All right, we'll see if this is voiced. If it's not, um, I will be doing this on my own. If it is, then uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. It's getting late. Where to now? Let's let's see. You're easy to spot. <laughs> Are you going to Aramali? All right, so it's voice. So I will see you guys next time. I am tired though. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later. See ya.